Hi and Assalamu alaikum everyone. So today we would like to present our new proposed product. We call it Zenis Environment Analytic for Soil Monitoring Xenia or SIC 2024. Firstly, let me introduce our project member. So this project was led by Yeo Chi Leong, followed by me, the presenter, and Lau Chin Hong, Nur Shamina Ahmad Azhar, Putri Nur Fazana Fawira Kamruddin, and Nur Azrai Daniel Afiq Razali towards the perspective of global landscape. So basically, the innovation in soil monitoring is rising up towards to the increment trend whereby we can see over here there will be a large amount of researchers or soil monitoring startups rising up towards the India, um, Europe and West America. So towards this, basically we see that the importance of the soil monitoring in various agricultural and environmental contexts. So for this reason, there are several problems need to be catered by ourselves. So the first one is the cost of purchasing and installing soil at the beginning is quite expensive compared to the developed country. So the second one is integrating the data from different types of sensors. So secondly, it's a small hole the farmer and those in developing region may lack of this access towards IR 4.0 especially in the rural area. So here we can see that the demand tracking soil carbon level to enhance carbon securitization of practices is increased and in order to get the precise soil data so basically we also can do the early detection of the soil condition if we might be changing the soil and, and watering them and also the 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 impact of IR 4.0 whereby we need a real-time data analysis in everywhere so we have three objectives over here so first one is to provide farmer with precise and real-time soil data in order to optimize the all the processes which happen in agriculture so the second thing is to support sustainable farming by offering the detailed insight into the soil health so basically we try to develop an apps uh, whereby we injected the artificial intelligence practices in these apps. So then lastly, to empower farmer, researchers and policy maker with compresses. So this is the way that we presented our Xenia product. So basically we have traces of webcam or file. So this is, is the place that uh, image has been uh, uploaded. So and then we have the output list whereby we show a soil type classification result over here in terms of progressing bar by percentage. So overall, we have a clean apps over here. Uh, we have friendly user interface easy simple just upload the image and the result is done cloud computing obviously is not happening in the cell phone or the hardware itself but it, it happening in upstairs and it is real time perhaps they will be providing you the percentage of the display speaking about the authenticity of our product so basically we collected several images for five categories yellow laterite pit uh, cinder and black soil as you can see over here there will be several apps which happen to be captured by various condition angles and so on okay so now we can say that our technology is up to the level number four based on the trl suggested by mosti so we did the test the trl3 for classification model in lab and then we jump into the trl4 uh, whereby we happen to success to do specification of the oil types so speaking of how we do it so we utilize the cnn convolution neural network and set towards the own five categories of classes at the back so yeah the moment that we put any kind of images over here so we can see that we will uh, return the five so five output in this particular uh, example right so where are we in the soil monitoring activities so right now we are in the middle man towards agricultural processes uh, industry whereby we link the farmer into the soil quality and classification uh, demanding parties so let me do the demo so this is the real demo happened in my uh, cell phone. So you can take a look at here. Okay, so when we find the pet soil, so we have lots of image. So I just randomly choose one and then I put it in the uh, particular here. So this uh, classification system will respond to us as 99% of pit soil and then we try as a real application. So I bring the mobile phone to the outdoor and then go down to the ground and snap one photo randomly so that, that would be the ye uh, yellow soil and yeah i use the photo get a library and to find the the, the the image that had been captured just now and yeah boom this is the yellow soil classification task okay right so speaking of can and cannot with the this particular product so basically we can promise you 90 percent of soil classification accuracy achieved by using our product to implement without any hardware obviously handheld mobile apps and just using the cnn we can have a real a reliable result for the, this particular Xenia product. So this benefit we split it into the three. So it, we we try to improve the agriculture productivity benefit to precise soil data, sustainable farming uh, practices. Obviously, we don't need to have a huge power or things like huge maintenance during the time of we are processing the classification, and whereby we can observe the water conversion. So towards the future, basically, 
we try to extend our scope of study to be held using multi type of soil condition input images. So this is the potential of our uh, product to be commercialized soon. So currently we are dealing with uh, Pharma. So this is the online meeting happened with me and the officer of Pharma. So it can be integrated with the existing uh, Pharma soil assessment uh, whereby Pharma is the one that having the close relation with the Pharma. So if we can push this particular apps to the Pharma between the Pharma, so basically we can approximate can sell this product uh, roughly up to 25,000 uh, ringgit. So another way around we have the plan B. So basically we also could uh, make this particular apps available in App Store or Play Store and we could put the price as 20 USD. So this is the cost that we required to do as we need to uh, rent the Google Collab as the cloud computing uh, services. So with that, thank you. See you again when I see you.